So one of the kind of personal revelations I've had recently was the uh, uh, necessity to take advantage exclusively of low-hanging fruit opportunities in your personal business life, personal life and business life, to look for the opportunities uh, to make more money with the least amount of effort that don't have a high level of risk if you don't win. So what I'm gonna do in this video is really from a standpoint of selling insurance, is give you some ideas on how to actually, uh, what I like to say, exponentialize your uh, insurance sales efforts without having to come up with some newfangled idea or concept or risk losing money. So these are easy to implement strategies that if you do even just one of these should result in better results in your insurance sales efforts. My name is David DeFord, owner of DeFord Insurance Group, where I train and recruit agents nationally to sell final expense Medicare and annuities, both face-to-face -face and over the phone. So let's jump right in to these, uh, I think, five simple ways to exponentialize your insurance sales income, to look for the low-hanging fruit opportunities. Number one, sell the premium. This is a big one, guys. You should be doing this. I've been teaching this for years, finally getting more and more people to accept the uh, beauty of this uh, simple uh, language tactic to use in your presentation to maximize your sales without losing uh, the ability to sell anything at all. So what's sell the premium? Well, sell the premium means you want to try to achieve a budget range that the client is, is agreeing to be comfortable with. The problem is, is that most people start low and find it harder to move higher or they ask a dubious question like, what's your budget? Well, the client doesn't know what their budget is. So the way that we teach sell the premium is we start high with a specific script knowing that most people are probably going to say no and then work it lower. And what happens are two things. Number one, you get the bigger sale opportunity that you may have missed if you didn't ask, okay? It never hurts to ask. And by asking big, you get big. But a lot of the times you won't get big, so you have to go lower. And what happens is this effect that uh, what may sound expensive like $50 a month for a final expense plan, if that's what you started by asking, when you start high at 200 and they end up at 80, it sounds a lot less expensive because it's a relative comparison to the high number you, met, you originally mentioned. So you've raised your average premium, let's say $50 a month to $80 a month, and you set it in a way that uh, gets the client to agree that that's a budget that's comfortable with them. Agents who implement the strategy typically sell more coverage, keep more, and their average case size is much higher than the norm by as much as 25 to 50%. So I highly recommend if you're not using the strategy, it doesn't have to be final expense, it could be any kind of strategy that involves you taking a premium, which is most of your insurance uh, opportunities out there. You're gonna find that there's a lot more sales opportunities and it's gonna make a bigger impact on your overall sales results, again, without changing a ton. Another thing on here is to go broker, go independent instead of captive. Again, this is a simple switch you can do, especially as a new agent, because if you go captive, and you're stuck with one company to sell, you're limiting your options on products, you're limiting your ability to sell coverage because of price issues or underwriting issues, and you're limiting your opportunity to help your clients get better coverage because you simply don't have other options that would have gotten the client better coverage. So there's an exponentializing effect when you can sell more, when you can keep more of your policies, and when you can replace more inferior coverage because you're independent with multiple carriers versus captive with only one. And nowadays, there's so many good independent agencies out there that getting training and support and mentorship is absolutely a thing that you can easily do. Whereas the old days, people said, oh, well, captive's great because it babysits and manages you better and trains you better. It's just not the case anymore. There's really good opportunities. Um, think about scaling versus uh, increasing your scale versus increasing your conversion. So quick story. Uh, there's a gentleman here on YouTube named Doug Massey. He's a final expense YouTube guy. You should subscribe to his channel, very good content. Um, he um, really was my inspiration in scaling my business. Whereas I used to be obsessed with getting my conversion rate on leads from 20% to 30% or 25% to 30%. It dawned on me when I watched Doug scale up his lead flow, to scale up his activity, and to keep his conversion rate about the same, that that's the way for most people to get more income out of their business than it is to try to go from a 25% batting average to a 35% batting average. Again, it's immensely easier to just do more work and to hold your, hold your numbers the same than it is to try to go from good to the greatest in the business, okay? So how do we scale? Well, if we don't focus on conversion, we scale the number of leads we buy, we scale the number of appointments we set, 
and we scale the number of presentations, that's the conversions and sales that we get from them. Again, what we'll find in many of the business models in the insurance business, what it takes to sell, say, 10 presentations a week, it's the exact same lead system, the exact same prospects, and the exact same process as it does to sell 40. All it does is take more of your time and maybe a little outsourcing such as the appointment setting, even though that's not required, it does help. But that's the way to really um, you know, uh, add fuel to your income if you want to get it higher in a lot of these different types of insurance sales mediums. Number four is outsource appointment setting. I briefly mentioned that. I think this is probably the uh, simplest thing to outsource um, that's not going to be de uh, uh, devastating if it doesn't turn out. There's lots of people who will willingly call for a reasonable uh, weekly income, a couple hundred dollars a week. And that cost is what you will save in time and the ability to run more appointments. And I think you can easily make up for that investment by the more appointments you run, because you now have more time that you don't have to call, to pay that person plus profit from it. So I did this in my business. It took me from running 15 appointments a week to 30 to 40. I've taught agents across the country to do this for years. And it's repeated the process again and again. This is a surefire way to make your business run at a much higher level and to get more money out of it. And then the last thing here is the cross sell a passive income product over time. Again, if you're a final expense agent or a life agent, I highly recommend Medicare. It is a, a simple product to sell that's simple to learn. Everybody needs Medicare or 65 and older and they have questions or confused and are more willing to talk to you about it. And the income that again, in this case, Medicare Advantage plays is it pays as a lifetime income. So you can be making money off of work you did years earlier and know if you have to take time off that you're still going to get paid, unlike let's say if you're selling final expense or mortgage protection, where that's a product once you start working, you stop getting paid. So long story short, to sum up this, sell the premium. That's a big one that you can implement right away and get great results on. Go independent, not captive, to exponentialize everything in your business to get more leverage out of it. Scale your business higher as opposed to trying to figure out how to go from 25 to 35% conversion on your uh, leads, let's say. Uh, number four, outsource your appointment setting. Let somebody who's skilled that can set your appointments for you do the heavy lifting. And then number five, cross-sell a passive generated income so that you can make money based off work you did years early. And in case you run into a rough spot, you know you're making money regardless. My name is David Duford. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below if you'd like to. And if you'd like to learn more about doing any of this, uh, my sales training, my agency joining opportunities and final expense Medicare and annuities, click the link above and below and uh, check out that page you go to with, uh, for more information. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.